Morning Live. You would never know it, but garlic is a game changer for heart disease in 2021. And here to explain why, we welcome the professor of medicine at UCLA, Dr. Matthew Budoff, is here today to talk about this. Great to have you on, doctor. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Garlic. I mean, garlic lovers today are rejoicing with everything that you're about to say. This is really neat information. Yeah, so, you know, we've been studying garlic for about 15 years now, and we found that it uh, lowers stress, but more importantly, lowers heart disease and reverses plaque. So uh, part of our Mediterranean diet can now kind of be focused and, and maybe uh, enhanced to really improve your heart health. Because that's what we've heard about with the Mediterranean diet is the fish and the fish oils that you want to take for sure for your heart health. Is garlic even better or just right down the same alley? No, so it's probably within that, and, and the Mediterranean diet probably includes a lot of garlic just because those people from Italy and those other countries in that region probably are pretty heavy garlic users. So we specifically studied garlic and found that it reverses plaque. We studied this odorless garlic, which is nice because, you know, you don't smell so bad to your peers or to your, to your friends or your spouse, but it's called aged garlic extract, and it really lowers uh, plaque in the coronary arteries. So aged garlic extract, is that something you buy as a supplement, I suppose, or is it actually a type of garlic as well? Yeah, it's a supplement. So it's kind of like uh, how grapes go to wine. You age it for a little while. But what they do is they take raw garlic and they put it in these chambers and they, they let it age for 120 days and it becomes a more purified, less aggressive uh, um, uh, molecule that's a little easier to take. It's odorless. It's not as harsh on the stomach. It's made by this company called Kyolic, K-Y-O-L-I-C, and we've been studying it. Um, they're from Japan, but it's made here in the U.S. in Riverside, California, um, and uh, we've been studying it for a while now. To see the benefits, do you have to have something like a supplement? Is there any way to intake enough garlic to actually see the results that you're talking about? Uh, I think so. We haven't studied it head-to-head -head with, with dietary intake. The problem is as you use garlic or take garlic, it's probably a little different if you use it raw or if you fry it or if you uh, grate it or, you know, depending on how you process it. I think you'd have to take a lot of garlic, to be honest, to get the full benefits. So it might be easier to take a supplement for many people if you're not a true garlic lover. Yeah, that's, I'm a true garlic lover, though, so, but then you also have what happens after that if you have too much garlic with your breath and people not wanting to be by you. Right. Now, when you're talking about aged garlic and as an extract, is that then maybe more garlic that's older in your pantry or your fridge? Does that actually, you know, through, throughout time gain more benefits? It probably does. I would think as you naturally age it, it might also have some benefit. Uh, again, we, we kind of focused our, our randomized trials on this odorless product because I couldn't just smell the patient to know if they were on the garlic or the placebo. But, um, but I, I think you can get some of the garlic benefits if you really were to have a good amount per day. But it's the same as fish oil. Like To get the full benefits of fish oil, you'd have to eat fish twice a day, every day. That so a lot of people so just take supplements. <laughs> Yeah. It sounds expensive, but not so bad, yeah. I have to say. Especially in sushi, right? Exactly, so. exactly. So talk about garlic in general. You're talking about heart health. It's antibacterial as well. What are all of these benefits of garlic? Yeah, you know, garlic's been around for, for millennia. Literally, it was, it was used in the ancient, ancient Greek Olympics as a performance enhancer. So it has an antibacterial property. In other words, it stops bacteria infections, and it also has an antiviral activity, which is obviously of great interest in this age of, of COVID-19. Uh, we haven't studied it with coronavirus, but it has a, a properties to help protect against infections that's been used for, again, you know, centuries and millennia. So as a doctor, you're saying eat garlic, take garlic supplements. What would you prescribe for me as just a common person about garlic? So I would say if you don't have uh, early heart disease or you're not at high risk of heart disease, you can probably get away with just uh, garlic in your diet. If you're not in interested in that or if it's too harsh on your stomach or too harsh on your spouse's or significant other's nose, then I would say take some of the aged garlic extract um, as a way to stay healthy, especially in these times. Uh, we even showed it reduces stress. We studied firefighters a couple of years ago, and it literally is a, a nice stress reducer, which is important, I think, in these uh, unusual times. Thank you so much, Doctor. Appreciate it. It's the great uh, excuse that when someone says your breast smells, it's for your heart health. It all makes there sense. There you go.
Be Thank well. You, you too. Thank you so much. And we'll have more information about Dr. Budoff on, on, and today's segment on our website at kat.com. Don't go away. Afternoon Live. We'll be right back.